What's up, addicts? Today, we are going to talk Lamar Miller. <sighs> Lamar Miller. He is a guy that I have been uh, pretty happy and pretty excited to get before the start of the last two seasons, and just really let me down. So let's let's analyze this a little bit and see, is he going to be uh, let down again, or will this be finally the year that he is the running back that the Texans thought they got when they signed him in free agency a few years ago? So... I mean, with all the news coming out before the free agency, before the draft, it was really looking like the Texans were going to move on from Lamar Miller, that he wasn't actually going to be with the team anymore. And uh, slowly that talk died down and the draft happens and the Texans didn't use any draft capital at the running back position. And now here we are a few months later into training camp and we're finding out that Donta Foreman starting at camp on pup. And it's likely that he might not even be fully recovered until midway or even closer to the end of the season. So whether the Texans like it or not, Lamar Miller is their starting running back. Um, Lamar Miller has also shed a few few pounds he's down to 217 pounds is the report that just came out which is the lightest he's been since he played with the dolphins and was actually a good fantasy running back so considering the volume that he's gonna get considering the uh wild card that is deshaun watson i <laughs> have to admit that i'm still willing to draft him and i don't like it it's one of those uh, i don't want to do this picks but if you go zero running back early or you just end up with a lot of wide receivers or you take an early tight ends and you need a running back to it's not a bad pick it's not a great pick but it's not a bad pick in the fifth round and um i think it'd be serviceable he's not someone that it's ever really going to excite you from a week-to-week -week basis but I could foresee, as long as he stays healthy, I could foresee that um, with the loss of weight and if Deshaun Watson can play the full season, that Lamar Miller could return value on his draft capital. So looking at last year, um, he only had 888 yards. He had his lowest yards per carry. The first time he was below four, he had 3.7, and he only had three touchdowns. So the most touchdowns he's had uh, in a single season was eight with Miami and it's really kind of depressing because he's not much of a pass catching back the you know last year he had 36 receptions for 327 yards but he did get three touchdowns there too so he does get at least get targeted in the red in the red zone but again same thing we had to do with Will Fuller is when we're looking at his uh, stats from last year you kind of have to take out are taking into consideration the games that he played with Deshaun Watson when he was on fire and the other games when the quarterback play was absolutely putrid. So in the four game stretch that uh, Deshaun Watson was just absolutely lighting the opposing defense on fire, we had two games from Lamar Miller that we would have been really happy about and then two games that, I mean, 10 points, 11 points. So I really think even if Deshaun Watson comes out and still has the same fire that he did last year, you can kind of expect that similar production from Lamar Miller. So he's probably going to have a few games where you're actually like, okay, I was not expecting that, but he ended up getting like maybe a touchdown or two touchdowns and just had a great game. But most of the time I'm expecting him to fall right around that average, right about 10 to 12 points. So again, like I said, it's not something that you're really excited about, but it will get the job done. And I've won leagues before where my running back two wasn't the greatest. As long as you have someone that's, you know, you, you have a strong wide receiver core, a good tight end and another good running back. Sometimes all you need from that running back two position is someone that will just put up a consistent 10 points. And if that's one thing that I could probably endorse for Lamar Miller is it will probably get you a consistent 10 points. So if that's good enough for you and that's what you're looking for in uh, in a running back, then I think Lamar Miller is your guy. But anyway, if you guys are curious where I have him ranked in comparison to all the other players going around him and uh, anyone that's worth drafting this year, you can uh, click the link in the description box and download my uh, PPR tiers cheat sheet. I'll be sending you guys updates throughout August and into September so that way you guys are fully prepared for your drafts. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video helped. Um, even if it discourages you from taking him, maybe that helps too. So anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. Peace.